What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be playing with the new Natasha Denona All Neutral Viva Palette. You guys, I am so obsessed with this palette. I think it's absolutely amazing. Shadows blend so well, super pigmented, great variety of colors. This is going to be the star of the show today. So I thought that I would do a quick little tutorial featuring this bad boy right here. And I figured what a better time than to show you guys kind of my go-to smoky date night sultry look. I think this is super flattering on almost anyone. It's super easy to achieve. I can't tell you enough. So if you are interested in getting date night ready with me and watching me play with this new palette, then let's get started. We will be starting with our base today. So for primer, I'm going to go in with the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. I have already done all of my skincare and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to focus this primarily in my T-zone where I have the most of my pores. And then whatever is remaining on my fingers, I'm just going to bring out to the rest of my face. So while we let our primer sink in, I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting today just because this is going to be such a full glam coverage kind of look. Um, and I'm going in with the Becca Backlight Targeted Color Contour. I have some dark corners that I've been dealing with. I haven't been sleeping well. I feel like I say that in every video. This is like a double-ended Lorac contour brush. Um, and I'm just going to take this sharper side and just take a little bit of that product and just put it in my inner corners and just blend that out. So the red, if you don't know, um, I look so scary, but the red basically counteracts any blue or purple pigmentation that you may experience. If you have decently um, oily eyelids, I would say use this very sparingly because this is a little bit of a greasier product. So now we are ready to apply our foundation. I'm going to be going in with my absolute, absolute favorite holy grail foundation of all time. This is amazing to me. Like I can't get away from using this for like special events when I need something super full coverage. Like this is my absolute go-to. I'm obsessed. So this is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I'm just going to be mixing two shades because I don't really have a good in-between shade. Although, yeah, that's too late for me. Um, and I'm just going to apply that with a beauty blender. I'm going in with probably like two pumps of the lighter shade, which is ivory. Um, and then one pump of warm honey. And this is a beauty blender. This is the Beauty Blender Pro, I believe. We are ready to move on to concealer. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Meringue. This concealer is super full coverage. I really, really love it. Um, I've been trying to pick out other products other than Tarte Shape Tape to be using. And I really like that metal applicator on this guy. I know mine's really dirty, but it feels so cooling on your under eyes. I'm just going to apply a healthy amount to my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my cupid's bow. And I'm just going to blend all of that out. There you can see my under eyes are like perfectly covered now. To set our face, I'm just going in with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This stuff is matte as hell. And usually for like special occasions and stuff, I do like to go in with a very, very mattifying powder just so that everything lasts a really long time. So I'm just going to bake my under eyes with this and I'm also going to apply that over my eyelid, just tapping the product in. And I'm also going to bake my T-zone as well. Once I've tapped all of the initial product in, I go in with more and I just really like let this sit for a while. So I basically double bake um, just because I feel like baking sometimes doesn't really get like everything that I need in there. And I really want to concentrate that powder. So I like to go in a few times and set like my smile lines. So while that sits a little bit, I'm going to do some cream contour bronzing. I'm gonna go in with my Chanel Soleil Tan Day Chanel Day Bougie Ass Expensive Cream Bronzer, but it's so good. Taking the other side of this contour brush, I'm going to just swirl around in here a little bit and pick up some product. And at first I'm just gonna stipple 
and then we'll blend it out. And I'm going to take it up, just basically all the high points of my face where I would normally bronze. And this stuff truly it blends out like a dream. I mean, look at that. It looks so good. Um, and just picking up a little bit more on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and hit the other side. Now just taking a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to dust away that bake and I'm actually pulling it a little bit into that cream contour to kind of set that a little bit. I'm just swirling the remaining powder all over my face just to set everything and make sure nothing moves around anywhere. To finish up our contouring and bronzing, I'm just going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This is what it looks like here. It's a nice in-between, like, warm bronzer, but also a cooler contour shade. So you can use it both ways, depending on how you want. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of extra contouring, and I'm just going to take a Morphe M438 brush and just kind of set that contour again and just carve out my cheekbones and bronze up my forehead a little bit and I will use this to contour my nose as well. So taking a break from the face, we are going to go ahead and move on to eyes. Of course, the star of this entire video is the new Natasha Denona Biba palette. Um, it's all neutrals and it is gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. This to me is like, everything in one that I could ever need. I'm so excited about this. Um, and I didn't want to do a first impression on it because I know I already love it. I have been playing around with it a little bit. So I kind of just want to get right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is just go into Freckle here. It's just like a nice mid-tone brown. This is going to be kind of our transition shade and I'm just going to focus this like in the crease but a little bit lower than I would normally go with a transition shade. And I'm taking this on a Morphe E27, just a really big fluffy brush. Taking the shade Coco directly next to it, this one right here, I'm going to place that in the crease again, right beneath what we just put down. And if you get this shade on your eyelid, it's actually not a big deal at all because we are going to go ahead and cover it up and I'm going just from inner to outer corner. Now we are going to go in with our darkest shade on the lid and that seed right here, this nice chocolate brown. And I'm just going to pack this on the lid nice and dark. And then you can see we have kind of a nice gradient going. So once I've done that, I'm just going to go in with the brush I used on our mid-tone shade, which was Coco. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit more of that and I'm just going to diffuse into the crease, that darkest color that we just laid down. Just want to blend all of that out. We want to keep everything pretty low. So that's why I applied our transition shade a little bit normal, lower than normal, because I knew I was going to be blending up and out. So you want to start low and then work your way out rather than start too high and then you can't undo what you've done. So I'm just focusing on really, really blending all of these shades nicely together. And that's kind of what we're working with so far. I think it looks really pretty. It's really smoky and beautiful and just like diffused. This is what I've been doing so frequently. Um, so taking a little bit of, so taking a little bit of freckle on a fluffy brush again, I'm just going to kind of diffuse that out even more. So now we don't have any harsh lines. And everything just fades seamlessly. And then if you're finding that you're even a little bit too high and too close up to the brow bone, you can go in with this shade right here called Tusk. Um, and this is kind of a cream shade. And this will kind of serve as like an eraser. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and just place that like right here. Where I'm feeling that it's a little bit too dark for my liking. And especially on the outer corner too to just kind of like diffuse things a little bit just to blend all of that seamlessly. And that's pretty much our final product. So I'm just going to repeat this on the other eye and add some mascara and false lashes and I will be back. So I'm just going to repeat this technique on the other eye and apply some mascara
Now taking a brown pencil, just eye pencil, anything you have on hand is totally fine. Um, you can even use a black. I'm just preferring to use like a chocolate brown. Um, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencil in the shade Whiskey. I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to tight line with this as well. To finish off this eye look, we're basically going to repeat the same process which we did on the top, on the bottom, but instead we're going to start with our darkest shade and move lighter. So taking C, that chocolate brown, I'm basically just going to smoke out my lower lash line and I'm going to take it from my outer corner to probably two thirds of the way in, kind of where my iris ends. That's where I like to stop because you don't want to get too smoky and make your eyes look closed. Um, but this will still give you like that like sultry look, but still open your eyes up. Taking cocoa again, I'm going to just diffuse that and kind of blend it out. And you can of course go as low with this as you want. Um, you know, blow it out as much as you prefer. I like to go pretty smoky. And I think that this eye look just like really makes like brown eyes just like pop. I think it looks so good. I really, really like this. And last but not least, taking freckle here. I'm just going to diffuse all that out as well and just make sure everything's connected from top to bottom and just like really seamless and no harsh lines. I'm just going to wipe away any fallout I think I might have, which I really don't have any. This is why I kind of chose to do my base first, so that way we could really like smoke it out and make everything look really well blended. And voila, this is our eyeshadow. It's really, really easy. So what I'm actually going to do now is apply a few coats of mascara and some false lashes off camera, and I'll be right back. Dang, lashes make the biggest difference. Like, I love this eye look just on its own, but once you add eyelashes, it's like whew, ready to go. So, we are going to finish the rest of our face. So, what I'm going to do is just dust away this bake to leave us with like a really nice, sharp contour. For blush today, I'm going to be going in with MAC Gingerly, and I'm just going to take that on an angled bl blush brush. I always screw that up. We're just going to give our cheeks a little warmth. Now, this is one of my favorite techniques to do if I'm looking to glow up my skin a little bit. Um, I'm going to take a highlighter that is actually too dark for me, and this is the Dose of Colors Desi Katie Collab. Um, and this is in the shade Chasing Sun, and it looks like this, like too dark for me to use as a regular highlight. But what I'm going to do is just take that on my blush brush, and I'm just going to kind of tap that on the apples of my cheek just to give like a little bit of a nice glow. I know this is a pretty matte tutorial, um, but I do want like a little bit of a glow. So now we are ready to move on to highlight. And I want to show you guys a trick that I've been using a lot lately. So what I'm going to do is take any like spray or you can use Fix Plus, anything like that. I'm going to be going in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. What I'm going to do instead of spritzing my entire face because I don't want dew all over my face, I just really want my highlighter to stand out, I'm just going to spritz my brush a little bit. And I'm just taking this Milani uh, Rose Glow Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette and I'm just going to take these two shades here, this lighter and darker shade, and I'm going to mix those onto my cheekbone. And as you can see, it just gives you like such a nice, like wet, like kabam highlight. And I'm just gonna dot that on the tip of my nose, and then I'm gonna do the bridge of my nose lightly. Like so. And then whatever's left on my brush, I like to just take above my eyebrow and just on my forehead a little bit just to kind of glow everything and then on my chin. I don't want to take like direct highlight to those areas because I get oily there and that's just going to draw attention to my T-zone. 
Um, but I do like to kind of even out my highlight and it's not just like two beaming streaks on my cheekbones. And to actually set the face, I'm going to go in with this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this stuff and I love the spritz on it. It is so fine and it's never going to jack up your makeup and like camel spit on your face. I love that about it. Last but not least, I'm going to go in with MAC uh, Stone Lip Pencil and I'm just going to line my lips with this. For my lip color, <laughs> I look ridiculous. For my lip color today, I'm going to be using Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. Alrighty, you guys, that's going to conclude today's video playing with the new Natasha Denona Biba palette. I hope that you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up before you go. And don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that little post notification, the little bell next to the subscribe button. So that way you're notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss any of my future posts. And as always, thank you all so, so much for watching and tuning in. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I've been